Big is like a hog. No. The way 2015 began for the guys from Fayetteville, it might as well have been Slaughterville. It didn't go very well for Arkansas, losing four of their first six games. But then the guys from Fayetteville made it Pleasantville by winning six of their last seven. Entering 2016, Brent Bielema knows that one of the solid rocks he can depend on is his all-everything right tackle. His name is Dan Skipper, and he's one of the best linemen in all college football, period. He started the last eight games of his freshman year, has not missed a start since. It's 34 consecutive, and here in his senior year, Skipper continues to build his resume and should be a very hot NFL draft commodity for 2017. And last season's Arkansas offensive line, for the most part, was senior-led. You lose four of the six entering this season, returning Skipper at that tackle spot on the right side, and Frank Bragnell, who moved from guard to center, got to replace that entire left side of the offensive line. Ground game is going to see some new starters as well because you lose Jonathan Williams and Alex Collins. Uh, you'll have the likes of Cody Walker, Rowley Williams, but they're coming off a uh, recent injury. Receiving core, most experienced area for the Razorbacks, Dominic Reed, Keon Hatcher, as well as Drew Morgan, three dependable guys at the wideouts, and Jeremy Sprinkle at tight end, replacing all everything tight end Hunter Henry. And once again, you'll have an Allen at quarterback, but not Brandon Allen. It'll be his younger brother, Austin Allen, who will handle the pressure of starting signal caller for the Razorbacks. The Razorbacks returned nine starters from last year's defense. And by the way, did very well against the run. But against the pass, different story. 13th worst in the country in pass defense. Of course, remember, there are no weak sisters in the SEC West. Everyone from that division qualified for a bowl last season. So the secondary really has to play better. We'll see if the corner, DJ Dean, and the uh, safety, Josh Liddell, can step up. Front seven looks a lot more solidified for the Razorbacks with plenty of experience and leadership. Uh, Brooks Ellis, terrific at linebacker. And, of course, you have the defensive tackle and Jeremiah Ledbetter, senior. So front seven, good for Arkansas. Secondary. Remains to be seen if they can do their part. <laughs> Time now for the six pack of games to consume. The Razorbacks go to the Dallas Metroplex twice in the month of September at TCU in Fort Worth, and then later in the month in Arlington against Texas A&M, the SEC opener. October does have a lot of intriguing home games, but of course, they're difficult. Defending champion tied in early October, and you play Ole Miss the following week. And of course, don't forget about LSU in November. I think the Razorback defense will be better. Offensively, I'm not so certain. And entering the SEC West, yeah, a little margin for error. That's my look at Arkansas. Take care.